Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT Integration B 2024. This was from qualifying round tiebreaker number one. We have the integral from 0 to 2024, x to the 2024, log base 2024 of x, dx. Okay, now the first thing I noticed here, clearly we know what year it is. We've got a lot of use of the year 2024 in the problem. The interesting thing though is it wouldn't be that much of a different problem if they used like two or three or five. So I think what we can do here is just kind of go ahead and use normal methods, nothing too fancy. So first what I'm gonna do, I'd like to deal with natural log instead of log base 2024. So what I can do on this is use the change of base formula, actually the change of base formula, what that tells us if we have something like log base B of A, we can rewrite this as log of A over log of B. Where the base on this can be basically anything we want, so we'll just call it C. So using this here on what we have here, I can rewrite this and write this as natural log having base E. So we can write this as natural log of X over natural log 2024. But then I can go ahead and rewrite this. This right here, this is just gonna be a constant value. So when I do, I'm just gonna bring that out front of the integral like this. Same bounds here. And then here now we're gonna use not just natural log X dx. And now this is starting to look like something where we could use integration by parts, but the one thing is it's kind of a little bit awkward having natural log x in this. So what I want to do is let's do a u substitution to try to clean this up. So if I set u equal to natural log of x, then I can just solve for x. Rearranging this, we get x equal to e to the u. I'll take a derivative on this. So then for our dx value, we're just going to end up with e to the u du. So then let's just substitute on this thing. So we'll have this up front. Now for our bounds, we plug 2024 in here. So our upper bound is just gonna become natural log 2024. And then we plug zero in natural log of zero. That's gonna be like when we are at minus infinity here. Then for X 2024, we can get a value for that over here for X of 2024, just taking 2024 power, taking the 2024 power on both sides, this becomes E 2024 of U. So we'll bring that over here. Here's our U value and our DX is just gonna be EU du. And then now I can actually just, we've got the same base here on this and this. So I can multiply those together, add the powers, and then this here is going to become 2025 of u. But now that we have it in this form here with two functions, we're in perfect shape to do integration by parts on this. What I'll do is I'll use the di method or tabular integration over to the right. Okay, now for our di table over here, I'm choosing u to differentiate in our exponential to integrate. The reason is because the u is just going to differentiate to 1 and then to 0. So this is going to clean up nice. So let's just do this first. We're going to different. So we'll do this first. Derivative of u is just 1. And derivative of 1 is just 0. And then here when we integrate this, we're going to have the same thing back. But we need to bring out 2025 in the denominator. And then doing it again, same thing is going to happen. But we bring out another 2025 times this. So now we're going to have 2025 squared. But now we have part of our solution here on the diagonal. So the last row has got a zero in it, so we're not going to be integrating zero, so we won't worry about this here. So coming over here, we still have this 1 over ln 2024 in front, so we'll keep that. And I think what I'll do, I could factor out the 2025, but I think I'm actually just going to factor out the E2025. So we'll factor that out front here like this. And then what's left, we're going to have positive U here over 2025. This is just a 1, so this is going to be minus but we have this one over 2025 squared here. And then we're just gonna to need to evaluate this with our bounds. This is gonna be evaluated just from minus infinity to natural log 2024. So evaluating first at natural log 2024, we're gonna to have to plug it in there. This is a little bit awkward. So this is gonna become E 2025 times natural log 2024. We still have all this here. And then plugging in again, this is gonna become L, LN 2024 over 2025 minus one over 2025 squared. But now for minus infinity, the thing here is we're plugging it in in the exponential. So what's gonna happen when we evaluate this at minus infinity, we put it in the exponent of the exponential. Well, we're also putting it in here, but the exponential is so much more powerful. When we plug that in, the whole thing's going to zero. So I'm just gonna leave that off entirely. And now we're almost done, but I just wanna clean this up. We can simplify this just a little bit. So what I wanna do for this is let's just rewrite it, rearranging the exponent, I can write it as e ln 2024 all to the 2025 20, just using exponent properties but for this here when we have e to the natural log we can essentially cancel this here and we can rewrite this as 2024 to the 2025 and so let's just take this and we'll put this back in here 
And so for my final solution is we just go 2024 to the 2025 over natural log 2024 times natural log 2024 over 2025 minus one over 2025 squared, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Not too difficult, but we end up with this kind of long messy solution. So there you go. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.